Hey guys, welcome back to another authentic video here on my channel. In this video, I'll walk through how to set up IP reputation to deny logins when the reputation drops below a threshold that you set. First, navigate to your authentic instance and go ahead and log in as an administrator. Next, you want to go ahead and click Admin Interface. From here, click on Flows and Stages to expand it, and click on Flows. Now, go ahead and find your main authentication flow. Mine doesn't show up, so I'll go ahead and search for mine. And click on it. Now, if your main authentication flow is set up like mine, where you have this require unauthenticated setup, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and edit this flow and remove that. So go ahead and click on to authentication and change this from require no authentication to no requirement. And click update. Now from here, click on policy group and user bindings and click on create and bind policy go ahead and click on reputation policy and click next from here give your reputation policy a name that makes sense to you so for mine i will go ahead and put Kutonian ip reputation Under policy specific settings, you have two options you can enable, check IP and check username. With both enabled, the reputation will be very specific to an IP address and username, meaning if Bob has several failed attempts from an IP address, he will be blocked, and if Mary attempts a legitimate login from that same IP address, she will not be blocked. With only check IP selected, any username with several failed login attempts from that specific IP address will be blocked and with only check username selected, Bob or Mary will be blocked after several failed attempts, no matter what the IP address is that they are trying from. So for my case, I will just do the check IP option. And for testing purposes, I'll set my threshold to something low, like negative two. And click next. From here, you wanna go ahead and negate the result and give it an order number and click finish. Now, if we go back to our flow overview, you'll see how this works. When a policy's result passes, it normally allows the flow to continue. For this policy, if the reputation is greater than a threshold set, then it passes. However, we do not want the flow to continue in this case, and that is why it is negated. A pass will force a deny of the flow, and a fail, meaning the threshold is not met, will allow the flow, if that makes sense. Now let me pull up the reputation scores under customization, and watch it in action as I purposely fail to log in on my cellular connection's IP address. Okay, let me go ahead and pull up my authentic instance. And this will be the first attempt. And let me go ahead and refresh the reputation score so we can see the counter. And as you can see, there's a negative one so far. And I'll go ahead and attempt another failed login. And go ahead and refresh the reputation scores once more. Now we're at the threshold, so I shouldn't be allowed to continue with a third login attempt. As you can see, I get something went wrong. Now let me try with a uh, fresh browser session. And as you can see, it right out denies my access completely. 
The only caveat I notice is that once the threshold is met, the disabled flow message only appears with a new browser session. For instance, when I refresh and try to log back in, it will instead continue to give me the error that something went wrong, which isn't an issue because the objective is still achieved, and that is preventing the authentication flow to continue. If several failed attempts were made by mistake, you can reset the reputation by clicking the box next to the affected user, then clicking on Delete. Then click and delete once more here in the confirmation prompt. And now that reputation is reset. If you happen to reset and another failed login attempt happens too quickly, the reputation may still increment that previous count. In this case, delete that reputation again, then click on Policies, and click on Clear Cache. And click on Clear Cache once more. And this would be an instant reputation reset. Just be careful as this resets the cache on all policies and can affect any that are currently active. Please give this video a like if you found it useful and subscribe for any other videos I upload. Thanks for watching.